Hey, welcome back to another Take 5. Um, so in this video, it's gonna, we're going to be talking about um, events. And events are basically these little nodes right here that I have already on the graph. Uh, there's a lot of different events, and you can create custom events if you want to. Um, but we're going to talk about these three first, just because they're right here. So um, event begin play. These are things, all events are basically things that happen. Um, some of them are things that happen when the engine calls them, right? And then other things are um, events that can be triggered by timers and other things like that. And so um, event tick is an update. This ticks, this ticks based on your frame rate, and it can slow down if your frame rate slows down a lot. Um, event begin play, though, is going to be the one that gets called at the very beginning. It plays a, it plays a, a whole... I mean, it goes through its full execution, and then after that, then tick starts, and then from there, tick runs everything after that. If you're using tick, um, and tick is not something that you want to put a lot of stuff on. Tick is for very specific uh, situations, like um, interpolation and some other things. Um, if you don't know what interpolation is, you can use Google to find out what that does, um, and I'll talk about it later on. But I just don't have time for this video. Um, things like event actor begin over. Now, if something overlaps this actor, we're gonna we're gonna want to know about it, and um, and so those are the things that you know you could use that. You could say, well, when this actor is overlapped, I want to get the other actor, and I want to do something specific, you know. Um, but a lot of times it's like, okay, you know, if you on event begin play, maybe we just want to set a setting. Maybe just maybe we just want to set a boolean and tell it to be true. Um, a lot of times you're not going to do that because you can just set the boolean. You can initialize the boolean right here uh, as a you know with a with a value, uh, and you can do that with all of them. And so that's kind of um, not something you would do very often. But but functions you can call functions. You can do things like that, which I'll explain um, in the next video. Um, so Custom events. You do add custom event, and you can read, you can name that event, and you can call this event just like you would a function later on when I explain that to you. Um, so let's just call a custom event zero. So you could call that, and it would do. So we could connect that to here, and we could say on event begin play. Let's call that, and that's going to trigger this event, and then this event can do something specific. So you can do that. A lot of different ways, um, and so that's that's the basics of events right there. There's um, there's well, there's more about events, but really that's the basics of it. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna wrap this one up and move into functions on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.